Good afternoon, everyone. I gotta fix that mouse click when I <laughs> switch scenes. Uh, but we are starting a new LP today, Valkyria Chronicles. If you haven't played it, it's uh, it's a squad-based tactical game. And we discussed in Discord... Uh, well, let me preface it by saying, Valkyria Chronicles is really two games. If you play normally, it's an XCOM-ish XCOM squad-based tactical game. But if you play it for S ranking, or I guess you can only A rank in the US version, it's 100% a puzzle game and it plays completely differently. And I could maybe even do, like, show you the difference in, like, the second level because that's a good way to, to do it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play it normally. I don't think there's any difficulty selections uh, for the first playthrough. So we'll just go through it and we will go and, uh... well, there's lots of story. So there'll be some some quiet parts. We'll just go ahead and do a new game and, and see how it turns out. All right. Hey, Tasty Cupcake, how's it going? The year was 1935 BC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious... All similarities to nations. Their survival, and its <laughs> the past or present are purely coincidental. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the Hermes No worries, Firestorm. In neighboring Gallia, it was relatively short. Principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue, Gallia to Arms. If, if you don't like anime, you're not going to want to watch this LP. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add that right there. March. 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Lots of story. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. <laughs> That's a good yeah. <laughs> I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. They're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? They actually made a Valkyria Chronicles anime, which is pretty much spot on with very, very minor changes. Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Yeah, gameplay is 100% solid. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brule Town Watch. I'm Alicia. 
Alicia Melchior. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Job fish. Ugh. <laughs> All right. And one more, and then the game actually starts. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welps? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Welks has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! You can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. There we go. All right. About saving the game. Open the menu by pressing Y, then select Save. Save is a good idea before and after any combat, so you won't have to watch all this stuff again. It's very true. So we'll just do that. I'll actually get that one done. And here we go. Okay, here's the plan. Got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll play from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Failure welcome dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. All right, so as I said, there are two ways to play this. This might be a good mission. No, I'll do the next mission. That's a really good example of S-ranking everything or just playing the game. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Hey, Mr. Paradox. About command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here, you'll select a unit you like to move based on their position respective to the enemy and then press A. Doing so uses up one command point displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions to, i.e. control, your units per each player's phase. In this battle, you have three command points, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Nope, you just missed the intro, movie. Alright, 
We have our three guys over here. Welcome, Alicia and Mr. Redshirt. So I'll go ahead and play this like, you know, you play XCOM, right? About action points. You CP to select a unit in command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit you select around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. And the pr this represents the unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. So, it's basically time units, although firing does not cost time units, it just ends your turn. For now, use the L buttons to move near the sandbag. We'll do what the tutorial says this this one. We'll just run around. Get ourselves near the sandbag. About attacking. Press the RB button. RB. <laughs> right button button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with their currently selected weapon. Use the left stick to move the crosshairs and snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing A to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshair, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If target survives, you may launch a counterattack. A damaged unit may not have the hit point to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning. Alright. So... Unlike normal x time, you can actually choose where you're firing, which I thought was always really neat about this. About ending actions. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press B to end their current action. Return you to commander mode, where you will be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press B and end a unit's action, even if they have not attacked and still have AP. Tutorial mode, sure. Grab Alicia. Out. And we'll go and run her all the way up. Using cover. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press A to take cover behind them. While hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, taking less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover. Always try to end your actions safely hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive, long enough to secure victory for Gallia. Can we make it? Can we get close? There we go. Couch. At least she's a much better shot than Vulcan is. No. All right. I think uh, if this was moddable into an XCOM <laughs> scenario, that'd be a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move Vulcan again. Here we go. Even though we haven't been told we could do this in the tutorial yet. Being naughty. Oh, perfect. Might be close enough. Probably not with Welkin. Does my mouse work? Oh, it does. Much better. Not bad, Welkin. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission, the more cash and experience you'll receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to finding a challenging balance.
When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. If you use a cancel button to end your phase with CP still remaining, those CP will be carried over to the next turn. CP are a precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Alright, Alicia, go ahead. You're a much better shot. There we go. Super tutorial over. To S rank this one, if I remember, you have to do all the first turn. I don't see. Mm-hmm. Which with Alicia is just running like a banshee. Alright. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I can pop it up a little bit more if you want. Even going to war, I'll do it. <laughs> what are those? See, Damn cats. A lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. How's it going, Martins? I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. A way to spoil it. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage <laughs> and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. I think I got my font game pretty on fleek. <laughs> Chapter one, in defense of Bluer. I think this is the combat phase too. New episode. So fast compared to the PS3. Does this game have a requisite bikini scene? I think it does, right? I think the anime did for sure. <sighs> hey Brimcon, how's it going? Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Uh, I turn it, it's either the 30 or refresh. I was getting some screen tearing at refresh because I have a shitty ass monitor. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. 
goodbye and take care. <laughs> I need a better monitor. How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light dog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. Hello there. Um, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. Or before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. It's kind of like a reverse Hunger Not Games. Preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady. <laughs> no one here is concerned all at all. Good job, Welkies. Oh, no, no. I've S ranked this on the PS3. What? Got the platinum. Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. I actually plan on using the second mission to show the difference between just playing it like XCOM or playing it in puzzle mode to S rank it. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? <laughs> yep. He was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. Dad has such great hair. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. I don't think we're going to actually play it in but I thought the general was your dad. S rank mode, though. My birth parents died when I was a baby. <laughs> the General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. She needs incendiary ammo. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Although I have not played any of the DLC content. I guess so that'll be new once we get to that. That's all after we beat the game. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later. Also happy and cheery. Is this the battle? I think that's the battle.
That might be an option. About everyone is evacuated by now. Can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you going to join the army like your father? Mm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Oh. What was that? That sound. Don't believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. <laughs> Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. So now it's battle. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna do this one twice so you can see the difference. I'll explain the mission. The enemies invaded the windmill plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance toward the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful, there may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out here. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Failure, welcome, or at least should die, or 20 turns pass. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. About damage. A set amount of the damage unit has sustained is healed each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. My turn, okay? So this is one of the first games that I played uh, for a while that actually... About sightlines. When a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sightline will appear over his or her head. The line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your unit in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. 
Yeah, one of the first games that came out uh, really since XCOM. Like the originals, it really made me, brought back that feeling of a fun turn-based group tactics. Pressing the L or B buttons while target mode will automatically lock onto the next enemy within firing range. The crosshairs will turn red when a unit aiming at an enemy has a clear line of sight on their target. Use the guideline that extends from the guy when, gun when firing near obstacles to see if they are blocking the shot. If that line is interrupted, it means the unit's attack will be blocked. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, the attacking unit's weapons specifications appear at the top of the screen. Versus person shows damage against human targets. Versus armor shows damage against tanks and armor. The symbol will indicate the effectiveness against different types of targets. Circle will indicate the weapon is effective against that type of target. Triangle indicates the weapon can only give slight damage. X means the weapon is ineffective against that type of target. Area shows whether the attack will damage a broad area, and shots shows the number of rounds fired per each attack. To kill is the number of shots that need to connect in order to defeat the target. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit to defeat this enemy unit. The number only takes shots that hit the center of the crosshairs into account. Misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account to this number. This provides an estimate that you can use when selecting a target and can be used to land up headshots and critical attacks. Well, you know, there's hope since this is on PC now that the, the other Valkyria Chronicle games will come. What do we got? And maybe modding in the future. <laughs> I'm just going to move you over while we're here. It's nice being able to fire and then move, you know, fire and move. I don't really use the nameless guys. Enemy sighted. No, it's not. That's not cover. Yeah. Yes. It took it took a while. And Monster Hunter won't be region locked, which is really nice. Out. Oh, missed the head. <laughs> Whoops. Not in a head aiming position. That's alright. I can kill you with a reaction fire. And just standing there, what I really like is standing there causes a reaction fire. So you gotta be quick. Ah, Shadow of Mortar. It was a fun game. I played it before. <laughs> how I felt. Blooded. Let's get them looking at you. Alright, so... <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect mission to show the difference between S-ranking and playing the game. Let's go ahead and get you up here. Well, that was very disappointing. My turn, okay? Yeah. 
Ooh, curse of bad RNG for this one. See you, Firestorm. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> or negate it all with lightning reflexes. I love the Batman like sound subtitles. The game just looks great. No, not Town Watchman, number three. Oh, I hit Welcome too. <laughs> then 12 hit points worth of damage. Welcome reaches the destination. I think I can spare a turn with Alicia. My turn, okay? I don't think Welcome needs them all. To get everyone looking at her, take out one of them at least. He's out for the count, though. He's not getting back up. No, yeah, we'll take Welkin over. Ready to go. Leroy. Nope. All right, so now now we'll attempt to S rank it. I'll show you how it's different. Although you saw, how, you kind of saw how the second half of that works. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab. Be careful out there, welcome. Still a B rank, not bad. We took our time in the beginning. Here, let's go here. I could replay missions right away, but you can't. I'll 
explain the mission. Skip, skip, skip. Do 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 do. Okay. So in S ranking, you kind of have to ignore everything. And there's there's always a bit of chance to it, just to see if you can make it. Or again, I should say A ranking. We can't S rank in the US version. Click through while I fire. <laughs> all right, you hit all these, please. Oh, that's not good. We should be fine, though. We got half hit HP. Then we take you again. There we go. So on these missions, it's really nice and easy, but there, there's like one notorious desert mission, which is, I remember spending days trying to get it. Do, 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 do. Can I save right here? Oh, I can. Excellent. That'll make it easier. Here we go. I should just be able to run Welkin over there without doing anything else. There you go. So a nice mission to show you the difference. I sort of did the second half automatically because that's the best way to do it anyways. And to be fair, that's very similar to how council missions are. <laughs> Playing XCOM and Impossible. You know where everything spawns, you know where to go, when to go. Chapter two is Alright. So we're just gonna play normally from now on though. Non optimally. I think playing on optimally in this game is much more enjoyable. Martha. What's her problem? She's pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? 
Take a good look at that shawl. She's a dark sin. And that explains it. Who really talks like that? Stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. Pew. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! <laughs> Such nice language to deal with. Genocidal racism. To you. But Martha, I think she's Martha. This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, East. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Wilkes, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. How convenient. Just got this out back. Dad's tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is. The Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Oh, was it really? That's awesome. Too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. <laughs> I enrolled in case of emergencies. Class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... <laughs> What's next? All right. Welks. You took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. You know, I know it would have meant living in a, in a war-torn or war-prone economy, but I really would have loved to take an armored tank course in high school. You know, calculus, history, Sarah, we ready to roll? armored combat. Engaging engine. Homac. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're going to pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out. Yeah, that's that's true. Here's the brief for this operation. The enemy squad is centered around a single tank currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. 
Everyone in Switzerland has a rifle, but they don't get ammo. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brul Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. They're not given ammo until they need it. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Enemy tank is destroyed is victory, and if Brule's main gate is destroyed, or Welkin or Alicia die. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Take your time. About sandbags and hand grenades. It's a good band name. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, a unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. When focusing on defense or endings one turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, <laughs> this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. Its explosive power can destroy sandbags. Press the X button, the weapon toggle button, to cycle among your options to hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase, units will recover one hand grenade. Alicia and Town Watchman. Town Watchman and Main Gate. Did I don't get my tank? Oh, I guess he comes in later. Now you got a tank and a shock trooper. I need to save. All right. Moving out. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy sighted. Can I even get a hand grenade over there? No, I cannot. Enemy unit spotted. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forgot about that gun. Yeah, restart. It'll all come back. It'll come back to me. Or it won't. Or it's going to be a very long series of redos. I never know. I think we can expect, extend this into eight months. This gate fall oh, I'm just going to wait for them to get out of there. How is your accuracy town watch, man? Oh, there's a hill right there. That makes sense. I don't even think you can hit him. Let's go up that hill. My turn, okay? Avoid that tank entirely. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy sighted. I hope that's. Enemy sighted. <laughs> you can handle one but not the other. Hey, yeah, that's fair. Hello. Yeah. Do I have any cover on this side? Other than physical cover? No, I don't think so. But I can take that out next turn. Okay. 
Alicia is a murder machine. Guys are gonna be okay. <laughs> Just keep firing. Keep running. Oh. My poor wooden palisades. It's like a bad game of Civ. About Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player phase. Sometimes a unit that has suffered heavy damage needs help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. <laughs> Trademark. Yet another product of Ragnade or Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Select it with the X button, then press the right button to select a target. Place the crosshairs on a nearby alley to heal them, or place them on no one to use as handy items to heal yourself. Do I need to? Is that required? I think Alicia might be able to kill these two real fast. Definitely you first. Hmm. Oh, this would be a tricky one for Alicia. <laughs> she has 18 hit points. Can I pull it off? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Woo! There we go. Take a breather. Where's my tank? Thirty one. Really? Well, you gotta blow up that. And I think you need to heal yourself. Now I'm gonna have Alicia heal herself and we'll run around back. I think the S rank for this one is three turns. Nope. Although I think the gate destroying time is like 
four. Town Watchman down. <laughs> Can I use Ragnate on a door? Oh, there we go. Oh, Vulcan has arrived. Why, yes, yes, I will. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Vox. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. About ticks. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike round units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost hit points each turn. Tanks also consume 2 CP when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the turn's end. I just go through it at uh, fire. Sorry, we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. I gotta pump up there. Anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. Dialogue. All right. Let's go take it down. The tank is so hard <laughs> to move. What else I got in here? I got mortar, anti-armor mortar. What? Machine gun. Is the mortar actual mortar? Yeah. Tanks have three major means of attack: anti-armor, explosive mortar rounds, and mounted machine gun. Anti-armor are good against enemies covered in armor, such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast. Ideal against ground units. Mortars travel along an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes for major results, but be aware that ammunition is limited. The machine gun is best unit at striking enemies that are too close for the mortar and is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press the X button to switch weapons to meet the need to beat the situation. No go. Bring you around. About tanks HP. Tanks have two separate hit point totals, body and tread. Attacking the tank's body and main cannon will reduce body HP, while blows to the treads reduce tread HP. If body HP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If tread HP reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. It is easier to deal damage to the treads than to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, or even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. I wonder how many tanks that would, or shots that would take. Who knows? Grenades are so, so short range. Yeah, a little.
Yes, do not turn. Excellent. <laughs> Tunnel vision there, buddy. Yeah, I think the key for this one, S rank it, is to damage the tank with Alicia before the Walken gets here and finish him off with one shot. Martha's three other children. She gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. <laughs> the baby might be deaf. We're not sure. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot about that. All right, yeah, B rank. Three rank. Three turns is the A rank for that one. shots were fired. Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle Wop. and begin Wop. his rise to a Gallian hero. Wop. <laughs> I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. They all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. <laughs> this fire is your heritage. 
you'll come back home again. Yes. Have any of you guys Someone played the other Valkyrie Chronicles? I know it. I just never owned a PlayStation Portable of any sort. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Brewals fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgrees, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgrees, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. There's some super nice digs. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Non-regulation headscarf. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. <laughs> oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to get That's a good pun right there, by the way. Back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, 
We should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, <laughs> Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melchiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. That was fast. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Baldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. It's weird that they're wearing their throat all mics all the time, isn't it? Here just like you. you know each other. Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Rand Breeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. All right, change equipment, interview info, and blah, 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 blah. What do we got? I vaguely remember this part of the game. Our guns. Look at my grenades. Nope, can't do anything here. All right. Rosie. She plays an important role. And good old Largo. He was my avatar on Steam for, like, forever. What else we got in here? Command room. Training field. And R&D facility. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Tutorialize me. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. <laughs> this is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. What's the game where the whole goal is to get everyone to marry each other? Like Fire Emblem? Was that one of them? I don't remember. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. And they become the most kick-ass troops at the end of the game, if I remember correctly. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. <laughs> hey, Arthur Pendrag, how's it going? Where have you been? That and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Well, I hope you are enjoying your summer, then. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Unless you're from Australia, then it's like the middle of winter for you. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Rosie would say After otherwise. Them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow, 
and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Oh, they're doing great. They're doing great. Thanks for asking. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat. Oh, that's support. a pun too. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. I don't recall ever placing sandbags. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. And snipers with a mouse? That's like gonna be cheat mode. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Indeed I did, yes. I even got the uh, the prequel book and listened to that one as well. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Any of these guys I remember using all the time. Well. Oh god, all these likes. Yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> we get more name troops though, don't we? Yeah, I remember you, Carl. Oh, Jan. Jan plays a big role. <laughs> hey, soldier. I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight you. In the anime. I'm trying to think of who was in the anime. I know Edie was. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. She even has her own. She has her own DLC. I remember, I remember Cherry? Yeah, I remember you. I'm Cherry Steinen, like with a J. It's silent, but um, I'm not. Yeah, they're so professional. Let's get some more scouts. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. And that's all I remember. I watched the anime when my sister, or my sister, my daughter was born. All right, what do we got? We got one, two, three, one, two. I need some engineers. I don't have any of those. I all have allergies. You don't have any allergies. Hello, I'm Claudia Mann. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Marina Wolfstead, at your command. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. There was like an old lady... An old lady Lancer, wasn't there? I guess we don't have access to her yet. <laughs> I remember her. Rosie, Edie, Largo. I really mostly only use the story characters as well. Please, call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Ah, yeah, that's a good... That is true. Ramona, Susie, Frisia. I got nine slots left. And I know I won't use all these people. I'm Niels. Niels Darden. I'll see you on the field. Hey, I know your voice.
Another engineer. All right, all right. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. No, I guess I need 20. I'll do three of each. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. It's like someone doing an American accent. <laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. Four scouts. All right, some more assaults. Alex, Linus. I have an allergy to the desert. Oh, I like scout. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. Oh, you're I a dude. Forward to serving with you, Welkin. <laughs> Hi. And Draj's name and Draj's picture, I wasn't sure. Hey there. I'm Ika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? Is Ika from something? Five scouts, we'll do some more of you. You're a douche. Name's Jane Turner. Oh, cool. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. Another assault. Oh, fine, 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 fine. I get it. Wendy is nice. She doesn't hate or like anyone. <laughs> I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. She's a psychopath. Got it. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. I think on. I have Skies of Arcadia. I don't think I've ever played it. Uh, Wendy. Did I get Wendy? Yes. Wendy. One more. What do I got? Four, three, two. Five, four. All right, one more. One more scout or assault. Lancer killer. Imperial hater. I like people who like my main characters. They're like, they're good to go with. They like Cherry. They like... All right, well, one more scout. My name's Ramona Litton. Good to be on board, Welkin. There we go. What is potential info? Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, all of this stuff. Country bread, setting a bear dirt leads to a boost in concentration. Shock troopers aren't their thing. Attacks lowered against shock troopers. All right. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Well, isn't that convenient? You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. The noses are there. It's just shading is very subtle. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Come to think of it, 
Balio's heading up Squad One, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I better get a move on. Training field. What does this one do? Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learn. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. See, he has a nose. Tell he's a hard ass. Don't go trying to hog all the glory. Maybe you have to earn your nose. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? <laughs> it's very weird to hear the meta of the game yelled out to you. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now! All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Can you imagine how long the tutorial video for XCOM would be? All you want. I've got all day. If it was made in the modern era. Alright. Nice and easy. Let's just make it nice and easy. Whoop. I just go... Bloop, 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 bloop. Everyone gets a level. Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Beat a new potential out of the Lancers. We have two snipers, the two starting snipers. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the snipers. The Irish one and the boring one. Marina. Scouts get priority. training by class works now get out there and rack up some experience oh and there's one more thing to add sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them you can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field other times leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Evade boost. This order raises one alley's evasion skills. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working <laughs> just, you You're just spinning around. <laughs> I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. I got a boss. Uh, I think I'll do the skirmishes once to see unless like we're really trying to get something.
I don't remember I did too many of them when I played before. Welcome to R and D, man. What can I do you for? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Although having the highest available weapons at any time is always nice. I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! It's a little known fact, but Leon actually does not have any eyeballs. He's a blind mechanic. <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreis Cherny. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. About outfitting tanks. Development work on tanks happens in the form of body enhancements, tread and weak point improvements, and attack support. Body enha enhancements mostly reinforce the gun barrel and body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given the best body type you have developed. You decide whether to favor attack or defense, and altering body types gives your tank a different outward appearance. Improvements to the treads and weak point and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to tanks to enhance their abilities. Each part has a set size and blocks. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity in the idle vice. Pick the optional parts that best fit your own personal combat style. Develop weapons, outfit tanks. Let's take a peek. Rifles, machine guns, and a tank lances, sniper rifles, hand grenade uniforms, or blast suits. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Accuracy boost. Firepower boost. Fire for the lances. Accuracy for the sniper rifles. I think we could do a round of initial upgrades for everything. Uniform upgrade one. Whew, it's done. This one's perfect, bro. Armor upgrade one. Right, yeah, we'll do one level for all the weapons. All set. Here you go, bro. Yeah, that should be the last one. And they get branching, don't they, as you go down the list? On some of them? Yeah. Let's see what we can do to the Idlevice. Barrel protector, reinforce armor. Spare tread. These are all block upgrades. All right. All right, let's get the body upgrades done first. Actually, that will be most of it, won't it? 1,200. And we can add in 
That's all a thousand. Let me pick one of these. I'll just do the body upgrades. I think that is everything I can do. Yep. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. <laughs> Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Open your eyes. Let's do it. All right, that's everything there. Headquarters tab is now available. About headquarters. On the Galleon Militia's base, you can use the experience points and funds you've acquired in battle to train your troops to higher levels or develop new weaponry. Stopping by before combat or after an op once you've acquired more resources is a good idea. Open the menu with the Y button, pick headquarters, yada yada yada. As you progress through the game, new destinations around the base will become available to you as well. Alright, save that. I think I have time for one more before she wakes up. It might be close. for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret mounted cannon round. And yet we drink it to restore our health. <laughs> I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galleon's soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. <laughs> Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, East. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the uh -oh. capital. The Munchkin's awake. All right, we will save at the beginning of this mission. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Ramgreaves. Our mission is, someone is to take it back. <laughs> it's a resounding no. No one's awake. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our third regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. <laughs> he walks funny. 
<laughs> How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Barat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like they'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the ridge in the first place. Ooh. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. He's even got the villain mustache. Well, all good. See that you do. Who is that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Galia safe. Who cares Down with the nobles. Point, whether you're in the army or the militia. It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. It's, it's L George Lucas quality uh, foreshadowing. We'll begin by taking back the western bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther. I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first oh, okay. I don't see smart. you. Okay. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. About skirmishes. Unlike those within the main storyline, the battles found under the skirmishes tab can be played any number of times. Perfect for amassing experience and research fees. Try them if you're feeling underpowered. <laughs> Press the Y button to open the menu, then choose skirmishes from the tab select menu and pick the battle you wish to fight. Just be careful, though not a plot battle, soldiers lost during skirmishes can still die. A new skirmish battle has been added. I think we might farm skirmishes. I do like having, otherwise we'll never just get all the weapons. So yeah, we're in chapter three, overwrite that. All right. Well, thank you all for watching the new series. I hope you enjoy it. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Central for our Friday night stream. I hope you'll have a good rest of your day. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.